And I'm back again for another vlog. So, lately it seems like uh, every other vlog that I do is just about how I'm feeling and uh, just, I guess, my state of being. But, and yeah, this vlog will be about it too. But it, it's just that this summer I've just been on like like a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, I, I was feeling uh, a lot better after I got that uh, plastic ring out of my ear. Uh, but, but then, uh, I guess last week, or, yeah, 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 last week, I guess, uh, I just, I uh, was just not feeling well, uh, not, not like, like sick, like like I caught something, but it just like I guess mental. I think it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was feeling like like I was dazed, uh, and and sluggish. Uh, and, 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 like, like, it took me longer to focus on something that I was doing. Yeah, it just did not feel well. Uh, uh and, yeah, it was really weird, because nothing really major has, had changed. Really, the only big thing that has happened was uh, we've been getting a lot of smoke uh, in the in the air. Uh, it's from the the uh, wildfires down in California. There's so much smoke, and then it comes up north and. And yeah, it affects the air quality. Yeah, yeah, it, and yeah, it has happened before where we just get a smoky haze uh, that hangs around for some time. But but uh, I think this year was worse, uh, and, and I think it it did start to affect me. Like, I, I would also be getting some slight headaches and, and dry mouth. And, uh, and I think those are, are, are symptoms of, of breathing in bad air quality for a long time. And, and uh, I, I work outdoors for eight hours, so yeah. Um, but on, on one day when the air quality was really bad, I actually wore a, a, a face mask for uh, m most of my day. Uh, not sure uh, how much that helped, but, but uh, you know, couldn't hurt. But. But, well, yeah, and I, I guess I should say that I am feeling better now. Uh, yeah, yeah, much better. So earlier this week, uh, there was one evening where uh, I, I wasn't feeling well at all. And it, yeah, it almost felt like 
my brain was going to sleep, but my body was still awake, so, uh, so yeah, yeah, I was in, I don't know, a haze, I guess, and it was about 9.30 at night, and I actually just decided to go to bed, yeah, to see if I could get some more sleep, and that would help. Uh, I have been going to bed a little earlier each night because the, the sun's going down earlier so so it, it gets darker a, a little bit early, earlier each night and, and I was going to bed like between 9.45 and 9.50 that, that, that's when I would get into bed but that night I, I got into bed at, at like exactly 9.30, I would say. And yeah, yeah, the, the sleep did help the, you know, extra 15, 20 minutes of sleep. It, it did help and, and then now I'm going to bed at 9.30 uh, every night. Uh, yeah, I'm still getting up at 5 to work at 6. I'm hoping that will change really soon because the, the sun isn't coming up until about 7 o'clock now. So, yeah, I get to work and uh, I still have an hour of darkness. Uh, yeah. So I I work in an hour of darkness, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I turn the headlights on in the vehicle I'm driving. So yeah, I, I hope soon my schedule will go back and uh, and I can start later, but. But, uh, but it's still been really hot lately, so I, I think that's why they haven't pushed it back. It's, yeah, it's still been, you know, in, in the 90s, close to 100 degrees lately. So, yeah, I think they want to keep people out of the heat for as long as possible. And the, the little bit of extra sleep I've been getting has made a difference. Even though I'm, I'm not really sure what caused me to feel so bad. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was because there was a couple nights when I woke up in the middle of the night and uh, I, I stayed awake for a little bit, like, like usually I, I wake up once or twice during, during the night, but then I just roll over and, and go right back to sleep, but, uh, there's a couple of nights where I woke up, but I, I stayed awake longer, so I don't know if that made a difference. And, and, and caused cause my feelings. But yeah, yeah, I don't know, but, but I'm starting to feel better now. And also, the, the smoke seems to be clearing up, because we've had uh, some wind and a, a little bit of stormy weather, so uh, I think that pushed uh, the smoke out. 
Yeah, yeah. I just wish I knew what caused it so I could pre prevent it from happening again. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just see. But, but yeah, I just did not feel good that week for whatever, whatever reason. Maybe it was missing out on some sleep or the smoke or the heat. Uh, yeah. Maybe it was the dog days of summer that caused it. And that, that week that I wasn't feeling good, it was during, during the dog days of summer. Yeah, which, which is supposed to be like the hottest and most sluggish part of the, of the summer and, and yeah, yeah, the, that's what it felt like for me, or really almost the whole summer, I've been hit, feeling hot and tired and a little sluggish, but uh, summer's almost over, and, and so is my job, and then I can relax and recover, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, but I just wish I knew what exactly caused it so I could prevent it from happening again. So, that's going to be it for this vlog. Uh, until next video, goodbye.